Good day everyone and welcome back to BFA501. In this video, I'm going to explain about business process diagram. This is the, the one of the diagram that we are going to learn in this unit. A business process diagram or BPD is a visual way to describe the different steps or activities in a business process. Unlike flowchart, which we are also going to learn in this unit, uh, you do not need to show the documents as they flow through the system or show where they are stored. A BPD can also can show only high, higher level activities or those higher level activities can be broken up into sub activities that show more details. And this is, uh, these are some of the main symbols that we are going to use while we are uh, drawing a business process diagram. So the first symbol is the start or the begin of the process, it's represented by a circle. And then the next one is the end of the process. So in BPD, the process will start from a starting point, which is going to use this symbol, and it will end it to a certain point, which is represented by this symbol. So this is the start and this is the end. And then each process in BPD will be represented by this rectangular symbol and in BPD we can also explain about the decision or the branching within the process which is going to be represented by this diamond symbol. The flow from one activity to another activity will be represented by this arrow or, or the arrow flow. We can also add some kind of annotation or additional information in the diagram and we can use this dash arrow symbol. In BPD, we can, BPD can be used to explain a simple daily activities such as cooking an instant noodle, as simple as that. The depth and the detail of the diagram is depend on the needs of the diagram itself. So there is no wrong answer or a wrong way in drawing a BBD, the BBD can be as detailed as you want or as simpler as you want. It's depend on the need. So this is the example of business process diagram in cooking instant noodle. So in, as an example here, there's a, a hungry student that want to have an instant noodle. So the process might start from this symbol. This is a starting symbol. And then the first process that the student will go through possibly check the instant noodle availability. Maybe he will open the, his uh, drawer and check whether he still have an instant noodle or not. So there is a condition here, whether he still whether is instant noodle in stock or it's not in stock. Okay. So this is a process check instant noodle availability, and this is the condition. Okay. Every time we have condition, we can use this diamond symbol. Okay. The condition can result to a yes condition or a no condition. So in this case, if there is an instant noodle, yes, the process will go to the next process, which is cook the noodle. However, if the instant noodle is not available in stock or in no condition, the process will go through to buy instant noodle and then stock up instant noodle and then can eventually reach this process, cook the noodle. Okay, Cook the noodle will lead to the mix noodle with seasoning and then end the process. Once again, you can draw the BPD as detailed as you want or you can draw the BPD as simpler as you want. It depends on the needs. Um, this is the example from the textbook. So BPD, the main idea of BPD, it's basically to capture the flow of the process and also to identify the entity which in charge or which responsible to that particular process. So for example here, from the textbook, each entity that involved in a big process will be mentioned on the left hand side like in this case, there is a new employee, human resources, payroll, account payable, Susan, or and also Estlon. 
and then these are all the activities that involve in this process okay so for example like here complete new employee form this is an activity within this big whole process and who is in charge in this activity a new employee correct and this activity prepare payroll register and tax report who is in charge in this activity the payroll person in charge in the activity okay. uh, I think that's all for this video so basically the idea of this video is to give you a, an understanding about what is a BPD and what's the idea and what's the main uh, aim of drawing a BPD in the next video I'm going to explain on how to draw BPD using pencil thank you and have a good day